Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is server edition of our LZH Project and part 4 of Nginx. And in this video we will talk about virtual hosting. Uh, Nginx provides very easy virtual hosting and uh, let's start. I'll show you and you will understand in no time. Uh, I have already created some virtual hosts and what's, what is virtual host basically? Uh, with the help of virtual hosting, we can host multiple websites on a single IP address. This is name-based virtual hosting, what I'm talking about. The other is IP-based virtual hosting, but we'll talk about name-based virtual hosting. So let me show you the configuration file, what I did, and how we can uh, easily manage our virtual hosts. Okay, so let's go to our main Nginx uh, configuration file and over here I created this um, directive uh, let me show you one not directive basically I just created this added this line include dash usr dash share dash nginx my sites and everything in it uh, you can create this directory anywhere you want but you need to make sure that you have the full path uh, mentioned in this uh, configuration file okay that's it and then uh, let's go to this uh, directory cd slash usr uh, share nginx my sites ls okay i have cre uh, created this sites.conf file by myself and these are the two directories, uh, server, uh, server 1 and server 2. Uh, these two directories are basically uh, two websites. And you can say two different websites and each containing their respective index.html. Let me show you. Server 1 has its own index.html and server 2 has its own index.html. Okay. Now let's go to this sites.conf and in sites.conf I have mentioned uh, listen on port 8080 because still we are working with varnish and you can change it to 80 if you uh, are not running varnish or any other specific port. Okay root where is the root directory so for my first server uh, which I named server1.local uh, its root directory is slash usr share nginx my site slash server1 and its name is server1.local and then the other server is server2 and its uh, name is server2.local and its directory is in my site slash server2 that's it we that's the thing we need to configure for virtual host and it will work uh, one more thing because right now I'm not running any DNS server so I had to make an entry in my etc hosts file. Let me show you that. Here you can see that both sites are bind with this single IP address of my machine, server1.local and server2.local. Okay, and now we will just start Nginx, systemctl restart Nginx. Okay, it's working fine. Now let me bring up my uh, Slackware client and let's browse. Okay. Okay. And before uh, uh, like browsing that site, let me show you one more thing. Because again, I'm not running a DNS server, so I had to make sure that my Slackware can ping uh, server one dot local and server two dot local, so I had to make an make an entry in its hosts file as well. Uh, you can see one nine two one six eight one dot three going to server one, one nine two one six eight one dot three going to server two as well. And now we can ping one nine two one six eight one dot three. Good enough. Ping server one dot local. Good enough. Ping server 2.local okay fine so let's browse uh, 
uh, HTTP server one dot local and hi I am server one working fine and just change this to oops two dot local and there we have it working perfectly so that's how we can configure virtual host in nginx and that's pretty much it uh, that's pretty much it and thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my youtube channel and spread the word to friends and family in next video we will configure uh, nginx with php my admin and MariaDB. So thank you.